Hey, art friends, today is Veterans Day, and to honor them, we wanted to learn how to draw the words, thank you, and also color them red, white, and blue. So we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use a pencil and a marker, but they also need some- Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. The reason why we're using a pencil first is so that we can draw or write the words thank you with guidelines. And then we're gonna erase these guidelines at the end. So let's first write the word thank at the top of our paper or towards the top so that we can write the word you underneath it. And I'm gonna draw it or write it really weird. We're gonna start by writing the letter A. And the reason why is because it's in the middle of the word thank and we want to center it on our paper. Then let's add the H right next to the A. So I'm gonna draw it kind of tall also. There's our H. And also while you're drawing with pencil, you could press lighter than what we're doing so that it's easier to race at the end. Now I'm gonna draw or write the letter T. Now let's draw the letter N. And then also the letter K. That's a weird way to write the word thank, but it looks a little more centered than probably if we started with the T and then wrote this way. Sometimes I run out of room when I'm writing a word on a piece of paper and I won't have room for the K. All right, now let's draw the word U or write the word U. We're gonna start with the center letter again, and that is an O or a circle. Then we can do the Y for the first letter and the letter U for the last letter. We did it, we finished writing the word thank you. Now let's switch to our marker and we're gonna draw block letters or turn each letter into a block letter. So first we're tracing around the letter T. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna draw a big, it's like we're gonna create a bubble around this letter. So I'm drawing this big, line on top of the letter T. And then we're gonna draw a short line down. Then we're gonna draw a shorter line in. Then we'll come down, across, back up, over, and connect. <laughs> now we went kinda quick, so remember if you need more time, you can always pause the video. You can also rewind the steps if you need to watch them again. Now let's do the next letter letter H, and I'm gonna use overlapping because my letters are kinda of close to each other. So I'm gonna first start here. We'll connect to the T and down. Then we're gonna trace around the bottom of the letter H. And it's okay if you go over the next letter. It'll make it easier to overlap when we get to that letter. So we're gonna go all the way up, short line over, down, across back up, and then connect back to the T. Now we're ready to create the letter A. Let's draw a diagonal line that starts from the H and goes up. Then I'm gonna draw a flat line across the top of the letter A, and then we'll come down, short line in. Then we'll draw a diagonal line up, over, and then connect back to the H. Now if you have a little space like this, you can add a little short line at the bottom or just connect it right in like you did. The last thing we need to add to the letter A is the inside part. So we're gonna draw a little triangle inside. We did it, we finished the letter A. Now let's work on the letter N. We'll draw the line up from the letter A, a short line across the top, and then a diagonal line down. Now this one I'm gonna stretch out a little more because my N is kind of squishy. So I'm actually connecting to the pencil line and then I'm gonna trace up like this. That way this will make the letter N a little bigger. Then we'll come down. And at the bottom of the letter N, let's do a short letter or a short line in. And then we'll draw a diagonal line up and then back down. Now let's draw the last letter, the letter K. And I noticed that my first letter T is really big, and then as it comes down to the letter N, I'm getting smaller. So on this one, I'm gonna draw it a little bit bigger and come out like this. And on yours, it looks just fine the way that it is. So you could actually come out from the letter N, there you go, and then down. And then let's draw the diagonal line up, 
short one down, in, back out, a short letter, short line, and then back up, down, and into the letter N. We did it, we finished the word thank. Now let's work on you. Let's start on the Y, and I'm gonna draw a short line right here at the top, and then we'll just do the same steps that we did for all of these letters. We'll just trace around and create a block around the guidelines. So we went a lot faster just because we're repeating the same steps. Now with the letter O, we're gonna trace around the guidelines like this, oh, it's getting really big. And then at yours, the top, you could, yes, you could touch the, the guideline. Now on the inside, let's draw a smaller oval to finish that letter. Yes, just like that. Now let's draw the letter U. I'm gonna first draw a big letter U outside of the guideline. And then at the top, we can draw two short lines coming in. And then let's draw a smaller U connecting those two at the top. Let's add one more thing to our words. I'm gonna add a punctuation at the end, like an exclamation mark. Let's draw a line down. I switched to my pencil, and then we'll draw a little dot at the bottom. And I'm also tipping it so that it's diagonal. Then we can switch back to our marker, and let's draw a circle around the bottom dot. And then let's draw a short line at the very bottom of this line. And then we can draw two longer lines going up. And I'm also getting further away at the top. There you go. And then we can connect those two lines at the very top. We did it. We finished writing the words thank you. Now, we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, this is my favorite part. But before we fast forward, let's take our erasers and erase all of the guidelines or the pencil lines that you can still see. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Taryn, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring the words thank you, and I love how it turned out. I especially love the shadow we added. Yeah, it makes it look more 3D, like the letters are actually raised above the paper. You can also add a highlight to each letter. We used a white colored pencil to add that on top of the markers. And we colored with markers, but you could use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You use crayons or even colored pencils. We hope you had fun drawing the words thank you in honor of our veterans. We do, and we also want to say thank you to all of the men and women that have served our country. We're super grateful for all of you. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.